Hey, greetings. So uh, the question is, what did you do during your uh, pandemonium, your pandemic pandemonium, your your boredom, your whatever you were doing or not doing? I tell you one thing, uh, you know, hopefully you were reassessing your life, the things that uh, mattered to you most, the things that you recognized were a foolish waste of time, perhaps appreciating certain things, being grateful for certain things you really took for granted. Hopefully you've used some of this time to have some self-reflection and to, and to perhaps uh, pick out some new choices, new direction to the future and to the destiny that you hope to manifest uh, and make it a good one by making better choices than you have. You know, uh, one of the choices that I encourage people to, to engage in is, you know, while you're home, while you're hanging out, while you're around people, while you're being triggered nonetheless by news and this and that and podcasts and who knows what, uh, you know, practice, you know, appreciating those around you. Practice appreciating those you claim to care about. Practice demonstrating your love, your affection, your attention, your generosity, your consideration, uh, your, your graciousness. Uh, don't take them for granted. Use this time to really value those that, that, that are you're around every day and sort of have gotten used to and, and have stopped doing all those special things that, that make relationships you know, gratifying and very satisfying and very loving. Uh, we've, in general, I think we have gotten way too complacent with our relationships and the way we behave and we've fallen into ruts and we've fallen into default ways of reacting with irritability or sarcasm or th this or that. And there are various forms of attack actually. Uh, they're very, and they're actually not very compassionate or loving or kind or, or generous at all. And, uh, and very unforgiving, very judgmental. And uh, we should use this time to reform ourselves, to make ourselves better, to, make our, to, to release a lot of our judgments and resentments and grievances and jealousies and comparisons and, and to get out of our ego and to, and to practice more about loving others and forgiving others and accepting others, even those who we disagree with, even those who seem to have their head up there, you know what, okay? Listen, we're all in this together. And uh, even uh, those of us who blunder, those of us who may be dark in spirit, who knows what, but we're all in this together nonetheless. And we've got to move everybody across the finish line, okay? A across the goodness line, across the compassion line, across the forgiveness line. And it's not gonna be easy because most people don't want to cross that line without uh, kicking and screaming. But the point is, we've all got to get there. Use this time to love ye one another. Use this time to appreciate those around you. Use this time to be grateful for what you've got despite what you don't have or what you may have lost in all of this. Be grateful for the blessings that you have in your life despite the losses and the lacks, right? And appreciate and be grateful for those around you, large and small, people who have done little things that have mattered, people who have done big things that have mattered. Appreciate, give back, pay it forward. Do the right thing. Stop being so angry and judgmental. Stop attacking others be because they have a different point of view. Okay, if you want your world to get better, if you want our world to get better, right, you have to get better. You have to be more tolerant. You have to be more accepting. You have to be more loving. You have to be more sensitive to other people's feelings, right? You have to be more, more tactful, more diplomatic, more gracious, more loving, all of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, use this time to be a better human being, right? And to make this world a better place. Thank you. Take care. Peace be with you. See you next time.